Welcome to Pink Caddy Garage. We're going to do a short video that just shows you how to get your downshift adjusted. If you happen to have one of these GM Turbo 350 transmissions that they used up until around the mid 1980s or so. Let's get started. We've got a few issues on this transmission. For one thing, it's not uh, the one that this truck came with. And so I can tell there are some adjustments we need to make. We've got the leaks fixed. Uh, it shifts really quickly and then it won't downshift again. So we probably have a governor problem that's going to need to be adjusted there. But let's get into this downshift right quick and see if we can at least get some progress made there. So looking down on this 350 small block, you can see we've got our accelerator cable here going to the carburetor. And then below that, this little cable is our downshift cable. And so as you can see, we've got some aftermarket intake and carburetor and stuff like that. So we had to fab up this bracket and then adjust it so that we could even get this downshift cable to have some adjustability in the, the stock configuration. It was, uh, it would just barely reach if we adjusted this little bar here all the way out. So you need to be able to have some adjustability in both directions. So then, the part that you're probably familiar with on adjusting these is you get a screwdriver or something, push down on this little silver piece here, and then that will release this slider bar. So then you will have a helper or a second person uh, floor the uh, accelerator pedal inside the vehicle. You're going to push down on this, and then that flooring action is going to make this bar slide out. Then let up on your screwdriver, and it should be locked into place. It won't won't move back and forth uh, without that little button right there being pushed. So in 90% of the cases at least, that takes care of your adjustment. But it didn't do anything on this truck. So let's go underneath and take a look and see what's going on. So we just happen to have a Turbo 350 here that's out of another vehicle. And uh, where that cable is going is going to be from the carburetor down here to the side of the transmission. Got a little set screw that, uh, or a screw that holds it in place. And then if you pull it out, it's still gonna be hooked up in there. So there's your cable, and it's hooked up to this little clip here with this little piece so that if your cable breaks, you can just replace it right there. So when you're pulling this, you can actually feel resistance start right here, and then it bottoms out right there. So that's what you're going to want for a properly working, I guess I'd call it a plunger, inside your transmission. All right, let's take a look inside the one in the truck. So that cable is coming from under hood right here. It goes down into our transmission right here. There's a little 10 millimeter bolt that I've already taken out. And we're going to pull this cable out. And we should see that S hook. So we've got that thing out now, but when I pull it, as you can see, it's all cable and no S-hook, no plunger, nothing. So that's pretty much telling us there is a problem inside. We're going to go ahead and pull this pan off and see if we can see it without taking much else apart. All right, so our pan is off. You can see our filter right here. And then if you go up here toward the front of the truck, this is your kick down mechanism. That's where the cable is going. This particular one does not have an S-clip on it, so if you had to change this cable, you would have to drop the pan, which is new to me, but apparently General Motors changed that. But what happened is when you press your accelerator pedal, it activates this cable and pushes in on that plunger right there. And as I am pushing that, there's no resistance until right there. And to actually get a downshift, you need to be able to bottom this out like that. So that's why the adjustment is so critical. If it's too tight and the cable's too short, you're not going to get full throttle because it's going to stop your accelerator pedal before your four barrels open if you've got a carburetor. And if it's too loose, then it's never going to actually push this in all the way. So if you've adjusted it as much as you can under the hood, and you still aren't getting a downshift, you're gonna to need to get down here and see if you're actually getting this thing to bottom out. Let's try that pedal. All right, we're gonna try it with the accelerator pedal now. All right, Ricky, give me a full throttle. And that is what you want. Okay, so 
So that final adjustment that you just saw where it was pushing that plunger all the way in was achieved with doing a fine tune adjustment uh, at the carb again where uh, we looked at with the little button. It needed about two more teeth, which you can't see in the video because they're on the bottom side uh, of the slider part. But basically, you've just got to do a little bit of fine tuning one direction or another in order to achieve a downshift, which I'm happy to say we are getting now. If you get to the point where you have your pan off to check the operation of the plunger, then you might as well at that point take care of your fine tuning while you can see what's going on exactly in the transmission. It feels so much better to get a downshift, so it's totally worth taking the time to do this job. Thank you for watching.